Hello, this is Dr. Alan Nath, and in this video we'll be talking about muscle imbalances. Muscle imbalances occur in children with obstetric brachial plexus injuries as well as adults with those injuries, and it can be seen in traumatic brachial plexus injuries as well. The situation arises because the five nerves of the brachial plexus from above downward, C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1, are injured typically in an asymmetric way, that is, the upper part of the plexus is injured more severely or uh, more commonly than the lower part of the brachial plexus. And out of those, the C5 nerve root, which goes to the shoulder, is the most commonly injured. It's the most superficial. This nerve uh, typically provides the shoulder with these type of movements, upward and outward. And therefore, uh, a child or an adult who has had a significant injury to the C5 nerve root Will have difficulty in doing those movements. They can't lift upward, they can't lift outward, and therefore the arm is down at the side. Now the lower three nerve roots that we talked about are not as commonly injured or are injured less severely, and those control, among other things, some of the big muscles under the arm, the pectoralis and the latissimus. Uh, other nerve imbalances and therefore muscle imbalances can also involve the biceps and the triceps, and it's a simple concept uh, the muscle or muscle group that is less severely injured tends to get stronger and grow faster and better and therefore it causes an imbalance around whichever joint is involved. Therefore these big muscles uh, are growing normally, they're stronger than the weaker muscles at the top of the shoulder and so we get tightness and uh, contracture of these muscles preventing overhead movement. They can also rotate the arm inward uh, and this we can see in uh, shoulder dislocation and shoulder subluxations where these type muscles literally rotate the arm right out of the shoulder joint. Another situation that's common for this is where the biceps recovers faster than the triceps. Those nerves are less injured uh, and therefore we get shortening or contracture of the biceps and that's called the biceps contracture and requires surgery typically to fix that as well. So this is a situation of muscle imbalance it occurs uh, primarily in the shoulder and the elbow joint, but can occur in the hand as well in children and adults with obstetric brachial plexus injury.